You find yourself strolling down the street at night. You hear a crackle of leaves behind you. You wonder what could make that crackle because, well, there are no longer any trees in the area because many years have passed since there have been trees. You turn around, looking for that sinister crackle. And what do you find? Me, Evan Wrights. Welcome to my channel, everyone, and hello, BookTube. Today, I have a special video for all of you. My first book haul for, well, BookTube. That makes sense, right? Still with me? Do you guys want to see the books? Are you sure you want to see the books? Okay, I'll get right on it. All right, so before we get started, I did want to mention I am an artist. I like to draw and paint, and I do it pretty well. I just created an Instagram and a Twitter for this channel. The username is at YT for YouTube underscore Evan underscore writes. Once again, that's at YT underscore Evan underscore writes. Should be fairly simple. It's for both Twitter and Instagram. I will start posting things to them when I can. If you have some sort of drawing or commission you would like and you want to reach out to me to draw it for you, hit me up on one of those places with a message or however it works. I'm not sure about Twitter yet. I'm just now getting into Twitter. I'm more used to Instagram, to be honest, because I'm an artist. Anyway, if you do need things drawn and you wonder about my prices and you'd like to get some professional art done, hit me up. Anyway, now to the actual content of this video that I know you were here for to start with. Now, before I go straight into the books, I am going to talk about a book that I did not grab in this book haul, but influenced a little bit of the book haul. It is a book that has been sitting on my bookshelves over there over there for quite a bit of time now probably about four years now i've owned this book for a long time i got it off of friends recommendations but i never opened the thing until the beginning of this week and can i say that i'm glad that i finally opened it some of you might already know what this is i'm sure most of you do actually because i've also heard a lot of people on author tube and booktube talk about this particular book or at least the author and because of that i actually went and finally opened it after I gave up on another book that I tried so hard to get through, but just couldn't. It started off great, but it just fell so flat. If you want, I can give a book review of that book. I'm not going to mention it now. If you guys would like me to give a, wait, wait, an honest book review of that particular book, I can do that in another video, and then you'll find out what it is. But if not, I'll leave it alone for now. The book that I was particularly talking about in this moment is something called The Name of the Wind. Yes, now I have had this for so long and some of you who have been fantasy fans for a long time probably already hate me for the fact that I have not yet read this book. But I'm now 100 pages in and I've got to say I'm really enjoying the writing style. It's flowery without being too flowery. It's like the perfect amount. It's not... To the extreme of, oh, hey, I'm rewriting the Scarlet Letter where 28 pages explains a leaf falling to the ground. Or it's not like completely oblivious to that flowery type of writing where you just go to like a kid's book. It has this interesting poetic feel to it without being too much. And I actually really enjoy it. I've also heard a lot of things about this author um, good things and bad things. Usually the bad things are related to his release dates, but supposedly we're getting the last book in the trilogy this coming year, so I guess now is a good time for me to pick up and read it. Anyway, we're going to get on to Brass Tacks. The actual book haul. Starting for real now, okay? So I'm going to go with the first book that I picked up. It is Brandon Sanderson's Skyward. Now, he's about to release another book in this series here in a couple of weeks and I am actually tempted to go to the release party. I am sort of in the area during that time so I might grab a ticket and go maybe get this one signed too if he's doing signings there he might be but 
that is just mainly because I like Brandon Sanderson books. I really loved Mistborn and you'll see, I guess, like a lot of his other books in this book haul. The next one being Warbreaker. This one's supposed to be a standalone book from what I understand and it's also par- part of the Cosmere. And I was really intrigued to figure out more about the Cosmere after I read The Secret History, Mistborn A Secret History, a few weeks ago. Because I finally got The Arcanum Unbounded. And after I read that, I was just so excited to understand his full universe because I hadn't really considered before that his other books might connect in even some small ways. So because of that, I got Warbreaker as a standalone novel. I also picked up this other book called Elantris. Now this one I already had before, okay? But it was in Spanish and I made it about halfway through. Now I'm going to go through and read it in English, how it was originally written, and see if it holds me more than it did the first time I went through. It was his first book, at least his first released book, so maybe that is one of the reasons why it didn't hold on to me well, but I believe particularly it was because of the Spanish. There were a lot of words in there that I was not used to. Um, But we'll see. I'll read through that here pretty soon. I am going to finish Name of the Wind, and then from there I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to take on after that. I might take on this next one. A wise man's fear right away or because he won't release the next book until august of next year i might give it a few months and then read that and then give it a few months and read the released novel the next one here is called perfect shadow it's by brent weeks this is part of the night angel trilogy technically it's not part of the trilogy it's a prequel to it um by derzo blint it's a little bit of a short story about him it should be a pretty quick read, I think, and since I like that story and I recently re- re-listened to it on audiobook, I figured I'd go ahead and just sum up the universe with the last little piece of literature he wrote regarding it. Especially now that the last Lightbringer book came out and I have to go get those books again. The next one is also a Brandon Sanderson book, The Way of Kings. I've never read this. I've heard a lot of good things about it. It's huge. And the fact that it's supposed to be 10 novels kind of put me off from getting it for a long time. But now that I have more time to read, I went ahead and said, you know, screw it. I'm going to grab it and read it. So this might actually be the next one I read after Name of the Wind. And we'll see where it goes from there. There's what I assume. Now, this might be a little bit of spoilers, but so so if you don't want to listen to spoilers from A Secret History of Mistborn, um, maybe skip forward about 30 seconds. But I have the feeling that some of the people that Kelsier met in the Arcanum Unbounded and Mistborn Secret History has to do with this, because from what I understand, this has to do with gemstones, and that was something that was mentioned in Secret History. So we'll see. Um, I'll get to this eventually. It's a huge book. It will take me a while to read. I am not the fastest reader. I like to really take my time and soak in all of what I read and really get that visual going in my head i'm just a very visual person i love that so this will probably be the next book on my list to read after that i've read the first two books in this series the lies of loch lamora so i went ahead and got the third republic of thieves i heard a rumor that scott lynch was actually making more than just a trilogy for this series he's going to continue it on and it sounds like he's in the fourth book right now so i'm I'm actually kind of interested. Maybe I'll just continue the story. I assumed it was a trilogy at first, but it's been pretty interesting. It's it's good in a lot of places, not necessarily my favorite, but I really do enjoy reading it. So I'm interested to see where this next book leads, especially considering what the premise is. <clears throat> the next one is from an author that I think I've heard of before, but I've never heard of this book series. I have no idea what it's going to be. This is my black sheep of the lot i just grabbed it thinking okay i sort of recognize this name the premise sounds okay like a lot of other books but we'll see if it's good and i guess we'll see when i get to it i plan to do this with a lot of my my book hauls is to get a lot of books that i plan to get and then grab one that i didn't necessarily plan for it's just a random book and we'll see if that turns out to be a good book or not This one would be Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. It's part of a trilogy, so if I like it, I will get the other books. I don't know if any of you have ever read it. If you liked it, let me know in the comments. If you didn't like it, let me know in the comments. Try to keep spoilers out too much. 
but you know, it would be good to know if you guys at least like this author or not, if it was a good pick or if maybe I just screwed myself over. We'll see. I'm excited to see where it goes. Either way, I'm going to be devouring a lot of literature. Now, this last book is one that was actually recommended to me by the seller, the bookstore. I asked him, hey, you know, what? I'm looking to branch out of fantasy a little bit. I want to read something either horror or mystery thriller. Do you have any good suggestions? And he suggested this author, Christopher Buhlman, if that's how you say it, I probably didn't say it right. Bowman, Buhlman, this is a book called The Lesser Dead. The premise of The Lesser Dead is that there are vampires, these are normal vampires, not Twilight style vampires, that are living in tunnels below New York, I believe. Yes, in New York. And they are like the key predators there. But one day, the author, not the author, rather the narrator who is not necessarily a trusted narrator in this. He even explains to himself, hey, don't trust me as the narrator. Um, he finds something in the tunnels that's even scarier than vampires. So I'm going to see how this turns out. It was suggested as a very amazing novel by this sort of lesser known horror author. And I'm just excited to get to know another author. And if it turns out great, I'll get the rest of his books. If it doesn't, well, it's not the longest book. It's not equivalent to an epic fantasy. So it won't be too much of an issue to read through. And I'm excited to see how it turns out. Now, if any of you guys have read any of these books and liked them, go ahead and let me know. Maybe your favorite thing without being too spoilery. Things that, you know, if you're excited for me to read some of these first, like if you have a proposed order for some of these books, let me know. My next video will probably be a book review on that book I didn't like, maybe, or I will go in and talk about some of my favorite books that I have read up to this point in my life. Anyway, it was great seeing you guys again, and I will see you on the other side. If I can press to stop recording. I'm just going to awkwardly stare at the camera for a little bit. Just still watching? Okay, well, it's not much more than that. Don't got any other books. This light is kind of blinding me and I'm tearing up. I shouldn't have looked that way. Anyway, goodbye.